to one. Just a couple left to come forward for the feature Futurity Trophy. Let's go to Stewart, who calls them home. Hello, Domini moves in. Delacroix into stall two under Ryan Moore. Purple and white silks will complete the line. That's it. They're all in. They're ready. They're off of the William Hill Futurity Trophy, the straight mile of Town Moor stretching before them. And away to the right, a good start from Delacroix in the purple and white. The grey seaplane is going with him through the first furlong. Otters Hell in a pink jacket on the left is tracking the leaders, just dropping into the wake of Wimbledon Hawkeye, the yellow jacket with a white cap for James Doyle. Just a little keen through the first couple of furlongs, Wimbledon Hawkeye. Detain with a pink cap has settled OK mid-division, racing ahead of Raw Playwright in the purple and light blue. And then Nabras away to the left in rear, the dark green for Holly Doyle, virtually disputing last place, in fact, with Anno Domini and Will Buick in the raw blue. Run about 37 miles an hour or so as they head steadily towards halfway and it's Seaplane who leads up to Delacroix, hot as hell, pink jacket racing third and then Wimbledon, Hawkeye with a white cap slipstream by Detain, raw playwright that light blue cap angling for position uh, Nabras on the left being finessed into it, Anno Domini, raw blue, Buick still sitting quietly at the back of the field, down inside the final three furlongs, Seaplane on the left is being joined by the strong travelling Delacroix now Moore shakes the reins at his mount, asks him for more. Hot as hell between the two is battling on. Anno Domini now moving up into fourth from the rear. has got three lengths to make up. Delacroix moves on with a furlong and a half to go. Hot as hell though is sticking with him. Fighting hard. The two Irish train runners fighting out the finish at the moment. They're drawing clear. Hot as hell on the near side of Delacroix. Delacroix just wandering off a true line. Leaning into his rival. Hot as hell. Delacroix coming back for more, a heads up, heads down finish to their final group one of the year, it'll go to the judge Wimbledon, Hawkeye in third, then Seaplane chased in by Anno Domini, Detain Raw Playwright and Nabras well, it's a photo, but it looks like hot as hell. Ooh, I thought he may have edged it, but when you saw the slow-mo there, it's really tight. Let's have a look at that again, Jamie Wright. Get your beady eyes on this and see what you think, because it in, in real life looked like this side, but wait until you see underneath hot as hell's head as they get to the line. Just look underneath. Oh, dear me, where's that come from? The head bob. No. I feel like it's the pre-Marcel Boussac and Zaragana all over again because I presumed, we presumed that Zaragana had that one and then the photo and the outcome showed that not. And that nostril of Delacroix was down just at the time that gives him half a chance of at least sharing the spoils. Look at the back end. Here we go. Here we go. Number four, hot as hell, called the winner. We thought so in the initial um, aftermath there, but it did look like Delacroix's head had bobbed. Uh, hot as hell, Jamie. I thought beforehand he had the qualities of being tough and experienced. I didn't know if he was going to be good enough. That's exactly right, but how many times have we been here this autumn in championship races? When you think of blue stocking, you think of Anne Mart. It's not the sexy ones, but the functional ones who are coming out on top, and hot as hell is exactly that. His qualities are he's fully formed, he's a real try, and he's got that attitude that accentuates his ability. Now, Delacroix has only been beaten by two horses in his entire life, and they're both trained by Jesse Harrington. <laughs> Green Impact was the horse who edged him out in two prior races, and now it's hot as hell. And the pair of them have pulled well clear. It was... At the finish, the Delacroix just leans right into hot as hell. And if the outcome of the photo will be the way around, we're definitely talking about a steward's inquiry and the stewards will still look. But the two Irish horses have finished well clear and hot as hell, another fully formed horse whose efficiency has triumphed over electricity. And the winning margin, a nose. Let's go back to Jason. The big, the big hug tells us all 